So this is what it looks like. The crowdiest city in the world looks like this during the Eid vacation which is the main vacation. Let's say that's the Christmas vacation in the western context and people most of them, the residents, they leave the city to have their holiday, their celebration, their festival with their beloved ones in their village or small towns. Today, the I can say so the previous day of the eat day the chances tomorrow is not going to be the eat but the day after tomorrow Depending on when the moon is going to be visible, the moon rise. <laughs> if I have to translate the phrase literally into English, so it's called moon rise. The moon is uh, taken as a signal to go and celebrate Eid and to put an end on month-long fasting practice which is called Ramadan since I'm making this film for the people who are not supposed to be familiar with all these terms or practices or culture or even with this country so I'm trying to give them some definition of these very basic words phrases or concepts while filming Just like I said in the beginning, this city is undoubtedly the crowdiest, noisiest, the most chaotic city on planet Earth. And in a time like this, this city looks like this, this surreal. <laughs> In our experience, we the residents of the city, I find it, I personally find this city to be like this surreal. So 
then I began to think about filming the surreal the real atmosphere or scene of the city. I don't call city. I'm not American. And who the man behind the camera is? Here I am. Uh, after a long break, should I call it a long break? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, The last film I, I did shoot, uh, that took place last month. This is uh, April. I remember the last one I shot was back in February. So maybe uh, I can call it a long break one thing is for sure I don't film every day what I can feel of walking and moving around in the city at this time uh, in this condition is that the city itself is being able to breathe now the city is having some breathing space now those of you who were here for the first time watching my film for the first time quite accidentally uh, might not be able to connect to what I'm saying <laughs> the crowd and noise you can see here now is nothing compared to what I experience each day every day residing in this place Also, one thing needs to be mentioned that uh, there are many more people to leave the city. <laughs> to celebrate their Eid with family and uh, I can say maybe 60% of the total uh, people who have planned to have eat outside Jaka in their village in their small towns uh, have left so 40 percent are still <laughs> on their way to move out of the city
And as you can say, or you can see, I'm moving toward the lake. My regular walking place is one of the walking places, a few ones, that I choose to have my walk at this time, afternoon or early evening. This is called Don Mondi Lake. Surely this is not the first time I'm filming here. Many, many times <laughs> I did film here. But today, this lake area is going to have quite a different look because of having no crowd. Why did that crowd disappear? Just as I mentioned, they're already on their way to get out of this city. Many of them, maybe 60% of them have already left. To spend their Eid vacation with their family. In other words, this city uh, is having the actual residents less than 50%. So I have no statistics. And I'm not interested in into statistics. You can have it doing some research online. I'm just filming what I can see and what I can get to see at a time like this of the year. And that's what I'm capturing my cinematic language. The way I film, uncut, and when I say uncut, totally uncut, totally non-stop, from the beginning till the end. Ah, that's how. <laughs> that's how this place feels serene, so calm. Remember I said surreal. Because at this time, this place, this Tanmondi Lake area, this park, is never <laughs> supposed to look or feel like this. This is an example, a, a practical example, I would say, to realize that uh, less people or less population, less crowd is healthy. Uh, those of you who are from countries which are not having this much crowd, population, or let's say explosion of population, uh, might not be able to connect to what I'm saying, but I can breathe now. And more uh, importantly, the city itself can breathe in. Can you believe it? <laughs> Just like this circle, uh, <laughs> having no guests, no visitors, no human being. <laughs> this is just unthinkable. <laughs> Thank you.
I can feel even birds, crows are happy <laughs> today. No pollution of the population. <laughs> The restaurants are still open. And they are doing their business. All these empty chairs and tables. Uh, they're going to be filled up, but I can tell not all the chairs are going to be taken up today <laughs> that is more unlikely to happen at least today and tomorrow uh, again tomorrow is the each day I can't I can't say that uh, there is a thing though I just said the moon rise the new moon for the new month uh, has to be visible, has to be seen, viewed One by the believers and then this is a divine permit to <laughs> break the this or put the end on this month long Ramadan But here's another thing hap happens is that uh, Bangladesh and uh, along with many other Muslim uh, countries, they tend to have sort of connection as well as collaboration with Saudi Arabia. Uh, what does it mean? Saudi Arabia is not having their eat today they uh, were supposed to have it if the moon was risen yesterday in their place in Middle East but that didn't happen so they're still fasting today and that's one of the half confirmation that this country is not going to have their eat tomorrow either because Bangladesh, uh, beside other Muslim countries, many of them, not all of them, they have their Eid right after the day Saudi Arabia celebrate their Eid, if that makes sense. And yet, I see how how peacefully he or she is having the environment to have a restful sleep. Hey, 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 what are Atske Atske film Kochi. Mana Maja Manujo Naito, Ipurivisha to Lajun. Tomaki Tulsi Shamashanito. So it's a Purota Hete. The Atske film to Jabehoto Kalke. The Edibo. Shop so much to Manus Dakajai to Atske Toche. Aki Jaga Aki Purivish into Manus Nai. Akabare Paka, the Tuner of Lakshi. So it's a tana tool chair ke, chal, running to job. Hello, Teko. Bohu manus to make a chine. On to the film jara da ke tara chine. Such a humble boy. He's a very good. Uh, he has a good personality, I would say. Uh, 
I captured him once in one of my films. Again, the uncut film. So he's one of the gentlemen I uh, get to see almost every day while I'm having a walk in this park. You might be wondering what's the point of filming this filming what I'm filming no action is taking place no action is happening nothing is happening no actions no happening nothing interesting but to me uh, it carries quite a value I would say that uh, mm, Since I'm a documentarian, I uh, I don't just want to miss the chance to uh, document this kind of environments of the very same place which displays quite different environments the rest of the year. And yeah, <laughs> how could I allow myself to miss the chance? <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> this foot over bridge is always, always having people, no matter what time it is, at daytime or nighttime. Whoa. <laughs> I feel rewarded. I feel rewarded. For my decision to film today. <laughs> and uh, I don't know what it's going to look like in on the screen. But I'm going to check it out during my post-production process but I'm happy <laughs> to be able to film this people-lessness Such, such an typical scene of this very scene, this place, this part. 
it's a famous famously called Rabindra Sharabar the pond and commemoration of Rabindranath Tagore it's kind of an amphitheater at least in that model it was built and this center uh, yeah it's one of the central places probably the center of this Tanmondi Lake area is full of young people young and people of all different ages but mainly it's overall dominated by the young people at this time after evening even more but now that's what it looks like and I'm just in the middle of the middle of this amphitheater which is the, the main stage If I now bring myself in the frame, then look at that. <laughs> wow. Uh, do I love this place being like this? I'm not sure. <laughs> I uh, it, That's kind of a mixed feeling, I would say. I mean, yeah, I see now I, I can't say this this place uh, first of all this place is always in the festive mood even when there is no festival going on all the year round why because of the people because of all these couples all these people the youth and today or at a time like this uh, at this time of the year when this place is having not that many people all those people does it or should it make myself feel very good oh uh, <laughs> i don't know But surely what makes me feel good is the the street condition not having this chaotic crowds i mean still you can see the crowds but not this is again i said this is nothing compared to what we always uh, we are used to get to see all the time of the year now there are two parts right there in the left and on my right I have two options which part should I visit let me visit that part first Hello, Tim. Huh? This peanut vendors. Peanut vendors. No wonder he's. He can't expect any uh, peanut lover at this time 
and surely at this time of the year this time and this time <laughs> this time means now is the fasting i mean people are fasting supposedly until the sun is going to uh set right there and second reason is that not there are many people because of having left or on their way to leave the city again to celebrate it I'm having to repeat myself <laughs> many times just in order to make the sense of what I'm doing why I'm doing what I'm doing Some of these people who just crossed me, passed me by, are well known. I mean, in terms of face. They're familiar with my face, I believe. And I am with theirs. So these people are the actual uh, residents of this city, including me city not city <laughs> I'm not judging or criticizing American accents or pronunciation but uh, it sounds good I just wonder why uh, let's say non-american people or young people students who moved to America for higher study. Why do they tend to pick up the American accents and try to sound like Americans? Why? <laughs> Come on. I mean, uh, can I not pronounce the, w the word water as water, city as city, 20 as 20 <laughs> I don't know how <laughs> 21 21 huh? uh, I mean, that sounds natural for Americans but when I uh, get to see people who are not American they were not born raised in America but all of a sudden they change their accents and tr just so interested to sound like Americans it doesn't impress me <laughs> because you are kind of uh, I don't know not you're not having the sort of connection with your identity the identity which is not American I didn't 
intend to flip my camera around to me right now. <laughs> yeah, that's what I... <laughs> that's what I, I was trying to do. Recenter my focus, but... <laughs> Instead of tapping twice, I tap twice and my smart camera instantly obeyed my command, a wrong command. It looked around to focus my face. Oh. That's a static structure. Totally white. And it's having kind of, it's not quite modernistic look. It is consciously trying to just uh, avoid that modernistic look and it's actually as far as I can guess is more inspired by the pre-modern design or let's say exterior Interesting fact if I if I come to film this very place tomorrow then I'm going to see even more more less <laughs> even less lesser crowd So the crowd and the presence of the people are going to be even lesser. So remember I entered this part using this door and not door, this gate or corridor. And I'm going to visit to other part of the lake. This part is even quieter. Quieter.
What is that? Such a massive chunk of con concrete. So, what purpose was was it serving? And now is it displaced or what? Quite a well built solid block concrete. let me move even to the quieter part i'm already in the quiet part <laughs> hello Tim. well sometimes i get to see people who are quite interested to be filmed to be in my frame waving their hands that is always good to see I mean, I rather feel kind of uncomfortable when people are people are uncomfortable because of my camera. It's one of the playing grounds of the city, having no game, no players. for understandable reason and I already used that road uh, at the beginning phase of my walk inside this lake I enjoy doing this documenting capturing the reality in real time without zero 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 editing I mean the concept of editing doing something altering the reality twisting or tweaking it in order to uh, make it a little more acceptable presentable appealing catchy attention grabbing that's what i'm always uh, quite against to that practice or that tendency uh, doesn't appeal appeal me <laughs> uh, me as a filmmaker uh, That's the way I film. Uh, to me, my film carries the value when I uh, come to be able to film the way it is. Anything and everything that is going on around me, no matter what, I mean, if I have to, let's say, um, keep in mind, uh, the the possible reactions probable reactions of my audience then my cinematic language the way i film uh, will be compromised and quite sadly i'm not going to do that
So now I'm exiting. Just thrown into the main road. One of the these are dumps waiting to be removed. Lemonade. This crossroad is always super busy, hectic. At other time of the year. Not at this time though. That is Dhanmundi Boat Bridge, <laughs> 32. But it's locally called Boat Bridge, which literally means 32. Dhanmundi 32. Uh, quite a historically significant place. That was the private residence, the house of Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, the founding father of this nation, this country. And that's the very place, very house inside which he was killed, assassinated, along with all his family members, quite brutally, back in 1975. So just a little glimpse of history, dark history. And now that house uh, turned into a museum, memorial museum. I'm not talking about this one, say <laughs> shopping mall. <laughs> and my reflection is kind of strongly visible, I guess. It was on the glasses. This is highways, as you can say. And to find highways without any traffic jam, without, <laughs> without anything disturbing, is again so uh, untypical, unlikely unreal for this city huh. why is he waving his hand all this time do i know him what did you do now kid no no i'm not oh yeah i'm not okay 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 Badi Jaban Kobe? No, I'm not going to do it. Oh, I'm not going to do it. 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 I
And I've done the free advertisement for the K-Craft. Shout out to K-Craft. Hey! You didn't sponsor me, man. But I didn't like to be sponsored either. So, yeah, I was kidding. So I'm kind of passing by the shopping kind of area, I would say. Seeing it for the first time, this new structure. Oh, such a magnificent building! Whoa, it's fascinating me the structure, the exterior design, the brick. And I guess it is actually the mosque. There had been a mosque, a famous one, and now it's being rebuilt. I am just assuming. And I think my assumption is not incorrect. This is what it looks like. One of the highways of Dhaka city. I should continue my journey. I'm just taking a walk around. So My plan is to actually finish my walking tour right on uh, on the foot over bridge probably not sure I'm a free soul filmmaker <laughs> Hi. I decide what I decide Other, or maybe more than a couple. 
speculate on an item called Charma. Let me enter this shopping mall just to cool my foot down because it is having the air conditioned environment atmosphere. Not the crowd. The crowd is expected to gather. Uh, right after evening, once people are people have broken their fast and recharged, <laughs> then they will jump into shopping again. Uh, one thing is that, although I'm not planning to film that thing, the shopping spree of this city. Uh, The crowd got decreased, more than half of the population left the city, doesn't mean the shopping malls and the shopping places are going to remain empty, <laughs> no chance. Oh, another, another remarkable structure under construction. So they all are undertaking the modern architecture and this is another one look at the pace of development another structure look at that look at that actually that's the most beautiful one you know why because the top, the top part is having bangla bangla writings on it inscribed on the stone or cement whatever it is some classic text fragments from classic literature look at that should I try to zoom it Zoom it in. Let me see. Was it too fast? Can you read anything? These are Bangla letters, Bangla words. Okay, let me. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Sorry.
see what a smart filmmaker I am. <laughs> I just uh, switch to my uh, zooming option and then for a not uh, finding a way to figure out how to come back to out of zoom option and be on normal track. This structure so impressive. Look at that. The last day, or the day before the last day of this Iftar business, a huge business, but today I, I get to see very less <laughs> the crowd of clients, uh, consumers. Usually other days when I uh, passing by this spot, I get to notice a long queue waiting to purchase their meal. The package composed of various items. A little fight is going on among the peace-loving people. <laughs> Who on earth wants a fight at a time like this when people are preparing or eagerly waiting to break their fast and be recharged, <laughs> refreshed? But that's that's a common common thing. Not the best day for the flower vendors. Parking is 100% illegal. Keeping the private vehicles on this side of the road. So I'm almost close to the end of this 
uh, road. This is not a highway. It's a road inside this neighborhood. Or one of the prominent roads, important one. And by the end of this road, I'm going to take a turn on my left. After walking for a little while, I'll meet the bridge again, the foot over bridge where I was at the beginning of my film. If you remember, <laughs> but first of all, if you're still there with me, um, and uh, just have accompanied me all this time when I'm doing this very weird film. <laughs> And I, I don't have any other um, better term or more appropriate term to uh, describe or call uh, my work, what the work I'm doing. Uh, to me, it's film. This is the film. This is the way I film. Uh, I'm now uh, thinking about um, giving the title of this work, probably my cinematic language, something like that. Uh, so my, my purpose is always just to capture, to document, to archive the life, the city, people, faces of people. In this most chaotic city and when, this time is very interesting because it's, uh, 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 it's not that chaotic, it's not that crowded, it's not that noise even though all you can hear just noise in the background or maybe you can hear my voice <laughs> as the background while you can uh, hear all this noise on the foreground, <laughs> you know what I mean. My Osmo camera is having a six, total six inbuilt microphones and all are turned on. Quite intentionally, I'm just capturing all the surrounding sound. So what I was saying that this is peaceful, <laughs> peaceful, uh, Scene and sound and sight of the most chaotic, noisiest city in the world. And the evening is dropping now. In a short while, there will be a call of prayer, which means. This is the time, the moment to break the fast, the day-long fasting. Look at that, how... <laughs> how alone this foot over bridge is now. Look at that. This bridge is having people all the time. During the other times of the year. Not now though. And this is one of the most uh, frequently filmed spot for me from this place, from this spot, from this angle.
when you see I mean it, it, it can help help us help me to realize how many people have already left I don't need any statistics I'm not a statistician all I can see is this more than half of the people left the city already and this is not the end many people are going to leave tonight and tomorrow and tomorrow night even on the very each day in the morning especially many people are leaving so this city is going to be even emptier I shouldn't say empty but yeah There's the other side of the road and look at another structure let me zoom in Another new structure is under construction, so most built. And now I decide to finish my film from here at this time at this spot uh, thank you very much <laughs> should I be thankful um, that you have been with me all this time to see what is not probably quite worth seeing watching uh, but it, it inspires me when somebody lets me know that he or she was watching the entire film and was inspired by whatever I didn't know. What is inspiring in this film? You better tell me. <laughs> Love you all.